that report from Chris Valence. Well, in that manifesto, which was published online, the man now charged in connection with the mosque shootings talks about an Islamist move to cleanse Europe of its people. He cites a number of leading politicians as enemies of white Christendom. Peter Neumann is Professor of Security Studies at King's College London. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are these ideas familiar to you? Yes, they are. Um, they are familiar to me because in 2011, when Anders Breivik was carrying out his attack in Norway, he was also writing a manifesto. He was articulating effectively the same ideas. And it's a mix of very far-right ideas, so he confesses to being a racist, but there are also ideas in that manifesto that would normally be described as populist. So he is about arguing that Europe is being invaded, that you know, European culture is being diminished by Muslim immigrants from other countries. And there's also a very popular conspiracy theory, which is popular amongst people on the far populist right, which is the idea of the great displacement, the idea that European governments are systematically displacing indigenous populations with immigrants. All of that is in the and, manifest. And, and by the sound of it, quite a lot of, of pretty cod history too. Yes. Um, so he sees Anders Breivik and he articulates that. He articulates him as an inspiration. He also mentions, for example, the Finsbury Park Mosque attacker from 2017 as another inspiration. He sees himself in the line, in the tradition of these kinds of attacks. And he wants to inspire further attacks, which is why it is so important right now to pay attention to religious institutions, mosques, etc. Is there any way of getting a sense of how widely those sorts of ideas are shared? I think some of these ideas are very widely disseminated. I mean, in fact, we have people like the Prime Minister of Hungary talking about invaders when he talks about immigrants coming from Muslim countries. So that goes into the mainstream. There are, but however, that's a bit different, ideas. isn't it? I mean, he doesn't talk about killing people. He absolutely. So this is, I'm talking about the ideas behind it. Uh. The action that follows from the ideas is, of course, fundamentally different. All of the people on the populist right are not killing, uh, are not calling for killing people. But however, they have to be careful as to what their ideas can do in the minds of certain people. And I think it has become very clear today that some of these ideas are dangerous ideas. Peter Neumann of King's College, thank you very much indeed for, for joining us.